Hey, what's up guys? This is Krishna here. Welcome to this exciting rigid body explosion tutorial. The idea behind this is to show you the simplest and the easiest way to explode any rigid bodies at any given frame. I will leave a link in the description to download the original project file. Please support me by purchasing the file. All right, let's uh, jump straight into it. I'm going to create a geometry and dive in. And I'm going to choose template head. So I'm going to drop in a match size. Now let me set this up. Okay. And justify Y minimum and scale to fit uniform scale. And I'm going to increase the size to, let's say, four. Yeah, I'll make it big. Why not? All right, I'm going to drop in a material, RBD material fracture. Okay. And I'm going to drop in an RBD exploded view just to see what's going on. All right, there you go. We got that. That's good. And I'm going to type, drop in an RBD bullet solver. All right, so that's all good. I'm going to leave everything in RBD material fracture at default. I'm not going to change much. In RBD bullet solver, I'm going to go into ground and add a ground plane. Okay, that's all it is. Right, let's play this. Okay, he drops. Yeah, that's good. It's working. So, okay, going to constraints and breaking thresholds. And I want to enable at frame. Uh, let's say I want to enable it at 24. So the mode is set to delete constraints. Okay. That means at frame number 24, it'll delete the constraints. Okay. So let's run this. There you go. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. What I'm going to do is dive inside the bullet solver. I'm going to create a SOP solver. And I'm going to dive inside and create a pine point velocity and add curl noise uh, you won't be able to see that yet that's because you need to connect that here okay good go in there you go and i want to click on this i and select v now you should see it uh, here, yeah, select it. Let's go to the next frame. Yeah, you can see that now. All right. I want to adjust the curl noise here. Uh, let me increase the scale to two. I'm going to set up the simplest way because I don't, you know, you can play around with this. All right. That's good. That's good enough for now. Let's get out of here. And let's run this. Oops. Let me disable the thing here. Right. There you go. Right, you can see something's happening. That's good because the velocity is coming in and applied, but it's active all the time. So let's put in an enable solver. And I'm going to use this side now. And we've said we want to break the um, constraint at 24. So obviously, we want to break, we want to enable the solver at 24. Dollar capital F equals to equals to 24. Okay, so let's check that out. There you go. It's working. It's perfect. Um, I think it's beneficial for us to enable the solver the frame after it breaks the constraints. Okay, so let's make it 25. All right, good. There you go. That looks a lot better. Perfect. So I'm going to create a null here. And I'm going to call this frame um, and go into edit parameter interface and drop in an integer. And I'm going to say um, exp frame, explosion frame, I guess. Explosion 
frame. Okay. Um, range will be um, 240 and starting at 1. I mean, I'm not locking this, so you can choose whatever you want. Right. Good. So I'm going to call this 24. I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it here so we can change the frame number in one place and then go inside and enable solver I'm going to delete this I'm going to paste the relative references and I'm going to say plus one so that'll be 25 that'll be 24 okay looking good so if I play this now oops uh, that's wrong <laughs> that's because we need to put in dollar capital F equals equals that not just you know the frame number okay good all right perfect that looks pretty good so this is all good when it's at 24 right so let me show you something if I change this to 96 okay it's working just fine but um, let me say if I change this to 120 it's not working anymore so at 121 it is changing it to one but nothing is happening and and that is because if I go into bullet solver advanced uh, under dot network uh, no bullet solver is sleeping time that's set to two seconds so after two seconds it's just going to think that okay fine I'm done with you know so it's, it's gone to sleep so we need to set that up so again I'm gonna copy this frame number I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna divide this by the FPS dollar FPS this is the frame rate and that will give us a different sleeping time so our explosion time is at 120 divided by the frame per second will give you the number of seconds okay now this is okay when it's at 120 uh, but let, first of all let's check if this works there you go it works now perfect now what I want to do is I want to change this to frame number one okay it works but here's what's going on right now okay so if you go back into sleeping time you can see it's got a very small sleeping time that's not very good okay so let's put in a max open brackets two comma and end it with close brackets that means the maximum of the two will be there always so the minimum technically will be two seconds all right so that's better all right good I'm just gonna put in six here there you go that looks better right so if I go back into the point velocity let's say I want to increase this grain to four and play it's exploding crazy okay so I mean it's it's exploding of course you know but what if you don't want that but you like how it's exploding all right so let's put in an RBD configure right uh, just before your bullet solver and here you've got speed limit you can speed max and spin max so I'm gonna set this to 10 and spin max to 45 degrees and let's run this again you see obviously it changes how your simulation is significantly but you can work around with this now so I just change it to 100 uh, maybe 40 oops not that 40 yeah so that looks pretty good okay so I'm gonna go back and change this frame to 48 now and uh, you'll notice something happen right so you see how the head tries to settle um, on the ground plane but 
that's okay, but what if you don't want that? What if you don't want this to happen? And you can see it's breaking by doing that. So the way to solve that problem is if you go back in the RVD configure, there's something called active, okay? I'm gonna enable that. And again, I'm gonna copy this explosion frame and I'm gonna paste it in here. And I'm gonna say dollar capital F greater than open brackets that explosion frame minus one. So activate frame before the explosion frame. Right. Uh, in fact, I think I should just leave it at the explosion frame, but we'll check it out now. All right. See, it's not active. And then bam. So. That looks pretty good. All right. So you can now change this frame to whatever you want and everything will fall in place. So if you want to change this to a pig head or something, okay, there you go. That'll just fall in place. No problem. And I'm going to put in a null. I'm going to bring out the, this is the uh, HQ geometry and there's the proxy geometry. Okay. So this is the HQ geometry, which won't look any different to the proxy geometry right now because um, I haven't really done any details or anything like that, but I can add, I guess this is going to take time. Oh, well, that's bad. All right, I'm going to leave it. Um, you can you can work with the RBD material fracture. All right, so if you want the explosions to look different, all you got to do is um, go in the soft solver and adjust the velocity and, and design, design the velocity. Okay, so that's how it works. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, if it did, please give me a like, share, subscribe and comment and please do not forget to click on the bell icon for notifications thank you